Um, so next we're going to have um, Immaculate from Hot Tanzania and she's going to talk um, about a failure of disaster mapping, um, assets and threats. Um, so please welcome her. Um, hi, I'm Immaculate Mwanja from Hout, Tanzania, and I'm going to talk about a failure of disaster mapping, assets and threats. Um, so this was one project that was conducted under the Daramani Huria project, which is a community-based mapping project um, focusing on um, making Dar es Salaam, which is a city in Tanzania, more flood resilient. And again, it is participatory because we work with the community and um, students of um, Dar es Salaam. So why did we decide to map Dar es Salaam and not any other city in, I mean, in Tanzania? This is because Dar is one of the fastest growing cities in Africa and it is the most developed um, city in Tanzania, but it is the most affected city in Tanzania with floods um, due to floods that occur um, at least twice every year. Um, so the Community Asset and Threat Project was one project that was conducted under the Dara Romani Huria, which involved the community members um, to get the points of interest which were affected by floods or which are not affected by floods, and also get the evacuation centers which people are um, go to when it floods in Dar. Um, so for those who do not know where Tanzania is, it's um, in Africa, <laughs> and um, in East Africa, and this is where we are right now, Germany. So um, this is just to show you the context. Um, and Dar is found in, east, in the east of Tanzania. As you can see, it is a very small part of Tanzania, but a very developed part of Tanzania, but which is also affected by floods. So in this project, um, we, um, we were mapping 49 words in Dar es Salaam, um, and we are focusing on the words that are affected by floods, and this is both pluvial and um, fluvial flooding, because like, there is poor infrastructure due to informal settlement that is in developing in Dar es Salaam, and, and also, like, um, sorry. So um, in this project, we were successful in mapping 200 and 43 subwords, which are found in 49 words in Dar es Salaam, and we created um, different maps and different reports which are being used by the re responders, for example, like Red Cross, who are responding to the floods that occur um, in Dar es Salaam. So this is one example of um, an action map that was created and that was used in one of the responses, uh, the flood responses that we conducted in um, our project in Dar. And so another success that we had in this project is we collected at least more than 5,000 points of interest. Um, this includes the areas that are affected by floods that are not affected by floods and also like evacuation centers where people go to. And in, on top of that, we were able to add to the OSM um, community like the roads, the roads named both formal and informal that are found there and the landmarks which the responders can use um, to to easily reach the, um, the areas that are affected by floods. So we also um, faced some challenges um, and some failures um, in this project. So on top of having these more than 5,000 points we were, and uploading them in OSM, we were not successful, like very success successful in getting um, one tag that we can use to um, show the responders that this um, point is affected by floods or this point is not affected by floods, and also we are yet, so I said in, in the beginning that this is a community-based um, project, so we involved the community in, do, in collecting all this data, but we are yet to develop their capacity on, and the government um, capacity to like, move this project forward and for them to like, respond on, in, on their own. So we did not end there, like, you know, like we have seen that we cannot um, upload the the points um, to OSM, and then so we said, okay, let's relax, we cannot um, upload these points. We decided to reach out to the OpenStreetMap community, so um, the community forum and the tagging mailing list, and like ask them uh, what, which is the best tag to use, and so we decided that we are going to use the flat prone yes, which is, flat prone yes or no, which is um, used like 
more than 7,000 times in amenity, amenities and like more than just uh, 2,000 times in highways. And also on top of that, we um, developed a standardized report that will be used by the responders, for example, like the Red Cross community to, um, to respond to the flooding. So uh, we learned different lessons in this project and one of them is that there are evacuation centers that were um, that we found, but these are not functioning evacuation centers because they are not like um, designated by the government. Because people are, were saying that we should use like schools, or or maybe uh, we, we should use schools and other things. Okay, so and another thing is that this is a community-driven project. So without the community, we cannot we could not have done this. And also, we saw the power of the OSM community. Um, so I just want us to go, uh, when we leave here, I want us to go with this notion in our head that this tag and this project can be useful in areas all around the world that are affected by floods. So for example, like Guangzhou in China, Miami, um, the Bahamas, Philippines, India, and any other places that are affected by floods, like we saw Mozambique and like um, in some articles that we read, at least 17 million people are displaced every year. So this is one project that can be used by other people in the communities. And yeah, um, so my time is up. But if you want to continue this discussion, um, I'll be outside. Thank you.